Hi guys and welcome back to Irony Completed. Today's video is going to be a like tutorial I guess you could say, get ready with me kind of thing, on the most minimal makeup ever. Like true no makeup makeup. I'm talking no foundation, no mascara, like true no makeup makeup. And basically what inspired me to make this video is because I went to Guernsey for a week, um, a week ago actually, and in that time I was going to the beach, I was in and out of the pool all the time and I just didn't want to wear makeup products that were going to like rub all over my eyes and leave a mess and that kind of thing. I have the kind of face where if I wear mascara but not much else makeup I look weird and also if I wear all other makeup and not mascara I look weird. And every single product in this video apart from the eyebrow gel that I use, so everything but one product, is affordable slash drugstore so it is kind of an affordable video. This is perfect for if you're going to the beach this summer if you're going to be around the pool, like I said, any kind of day where you don't want to sweat your makeup off but you still want to look like a more enhanced version of yourself. And because this look is so simple, I am going to be talking through it rather than doing a voiceover, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is apply a sun cream. I already applied mine and have let it settle into my skin. Next thing I'm going to do is actually apply an eye cream. I find that when you're doing minimal makeup, the skincare part but part is really important, which is why I exfoliated my face this morning, why I applied a toner, and why I apply a sun, sun cream as well, obviously also for sun protection, but uh, that is one of the reasons. And then I'm gonna apply this eye cream. And I have been having such dry skin around my eye area. It's unreal. This is the Naturally Radiant Infused with Plant Extracts Brightening Eye Cream um, from Superdome Own Brand, like I said. And this is supposed to, like, make you look less tired, which is perfect because I'm also not going to be applying concealer around my eye area because, like I said, if I wear a full face of makeup and no mascara, I look really, really weird and I just don't want to wear mascara when I'm around the pool or when it's hot out because it just goes everywhere. Uh, because I can't get away with applying concealer around my eye area without it looking weird as hell, I'm uh, going to make sure I load up on this eye cream and make myself look as naturally untired as possible. You could definitely also use some of those little like cooling patches if you also weren't going to apply concealer or you could just apply concealer around your eye area and stop being weird like me. I just know what suits my face and you know. Making any sense? Probably not. I really like this eye cream and it's like two pounds so. Um, I'm gonna quickly apply a lip balm as well. I'm not gonna be applying any colour to my lips. This is the Crazy Rumours Mint Chocolate Lip Balm and it uh, smells and tastes like mint chocolate ice cream. It's so good and this one is really good because it's got like actually good moisturising ingredients unlike some lip balms which just, you know, aren't actually hydrating. Um, I'm not going to be applying any foundation like I said um, but I am going to apply some of this Glow Job Sun Kissed Tinted Morning Moisture Flash and it does have a little bit of a bronzing tint to it which is perfect for the summertime and also um, my shoulders and my arms are like slightly darker. I, it doesn't look like it on camera but I promise. My uh, body is slightly more tan than my face right now so I just want to make it match a little bit and also like I said this will just give me a really nice sun kissed tint without giving me you know like full on coverage. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face on top of the sun cream that I've already applied like I've said. And uh, this product has like the little beads that kind of burst and give a colour and I quite like the tone of it to be honest. I think it's nice. You can see this area of my face is looking more bronzed. My neck looks really white though so I'm definitely going to be applying this to my neck. I find that like my chest and my shoulders, like I said, like, my shoulders are like a little bit more tanned than my neck. <sighs> it's just like different areas of your body tan differently, don't they? Because your neck is always in shadow. I know this might seem like already that this is one of those no makeup makeup looks that has like a million products but I promise you it isn't it's just a lot of prep because I want my skin to look really really good and healthy because I'm not applying much coverage to it. I'm gonna apply some of this down my neck like I said so that I match my chest as you can see. <laughs> Ooh, my skin looks a little teeny bit patchy right now I promise you it isn't it's just because I haven't covered up all the blemishes that I have yet product is so quick and easy and like I said if you self tan or if you have a tan on your body naturally or whatever but not your face because I never get tanned on my face even if I sunbathe because I 
I'm so paranoid about sunburning and aging my face. Uh, that product's perfect because you can help yourself match the rest of you, as you can see, matches a little bit. A little bit better now. Now we're going to move on to some coverage and I am going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer on any blemishes or uh, scarring that I have but I'm not gonna be too fussed about making my skin look too perfect and because I am not bothered about having like super super full coverage I am going to use a damp sponge to blend all this in. Uh, usually if I'm just spot concealing I will use a brush because the brush will make my uh, concealer have the most coverage in those targeted areas but because like I said I'm not too fussed about it being perfect today then I'll use a sponge because again it will create the most natural finish. Uh, the reason I'm not applying an all over coverage product is because in the summer I get freckles and I used to hate my freckles but now I've decided that I love them so I really don't want to cover up um, the areas of my face where I have freckles and that's another reason why I'm not applying an under eye concealer is because my freckle area is kind of like this whole area of my face and when I apply an under eye concealer they just get lost in that so I'm not applying concealer in any areas where I want you know those freckles and the other kind of nice skin imperfections to peek through. I'm taking a tiny bit of this around my nose though because I do get quite red around there this is what I mean, I have this like blister thing here and it won't cover. The good thing about using that bronzing product first as well is it does even out your skin uh, tone generally, so any areas where you just have a discoloration uh, generally as opposed to like targeted areas that you need to cover should have been mostly sourced out by that bronzing product from Soap and Glory but uh, you can always apply some concealer to those areas if you feel like it, like my in between my eyebrow area is always so red so I'm definitely going to apply a little bit there and this look is just so perfect for the hot weather because there's not much product on your face so let's all pretend that this weird thing isn't happening so as you can see you can still see some of the uh, redness and spots peeking through but my skin overall does look a lot more even but you can still see my freckles you can still see the moles and stuff on my face peeking through and that is what we want and like I said I'm not going to apply any concealer to my eye area but if you were to apply some concealer there I would suggest just applying it on the very very inner corner and blending out with your finger or the sponge like I did with the other stuff I am going to set my face just because the weather is hot but before I do that I am going to put some glow on my face and the product I'm going to use is this Soap and Glory Glow All Out Stick this is a um, cream highlight and they have like a bronzy shade as well so if you're more tanned or have a deeper complexion than me then you can definitely use that one as well and if you feel like your face needs some more colour and you'd like to add some blush then they also have a cream blush stick as well so the range of these is really really great but I'm going to use just the highlighty one and I am going to apply it to the high points of my face I'm kind of bringing it up onto my brow bone slightly as well and then also just above the arch of my eyebrow so I look super super glowy because I love that look. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge. You could defo use your fingers to blend this out if you wanted. I'm just using my sponge so that it really melts the product into the skin. And the good thing about this is a lot of the time when you use a cream highlighter, it can move the foundation underneath, but because we're not wearing any foundation, that's not gonna happen. And your skin is just gonna have that really lit from within look. So, ooh, I'm dropping everything today. I do the same thing on this side. I'm also going to apply a teeny bit of this to the tip of my nose. Also, this little. Uh, um, this bit. <laughs> this bit, and then the tiniest amount on my cupid's bow. Because too much on your cupid's bow can make you look like you're sweaty. And just now, what we want. So. I'm gonna look glowing to the gods and like I said this is a really like lit from within kind of glow because we are using a cream product so you will not look like you have a lot of product on your face but you will just look like you are drinking all the water. I am gonna take a tiny bit of this product on my pinky finger and just pop it on the very inner corner of my eye just a little bit just to complete the glowiness but it'll make you look more awake especially considering if you are not wearing under eye concealer like me. So my skin is 
all looking beautiful. I'm gonna powder my face like I said and I'm gonna use the Kick-Ass Powder by Soap and Glory because it is the best powder I own for oil control. I don't particularly have oily skin but in the hot weather I think that um, we could always use a little bit of extra help. So I'm just gonna powder my chin area which is pretty much the only area on my face that I get oily. Like I have dry skin but I get an oily chin and I'm also just gonna powder my jawline just so that none of the product that maybe on my jawline moves when I kind of rest my hand on my face or anything. I'm also gonna powder the very center of my forehead and I'm taking a very small amount of product, I would just like to say. If you're oilier than me, then feel free to, you know, powder all over or use a little bit more powder. But I'm taking a very light amount of product, like I said, down the center of my forehead. And then also on any areas of my face that I might have used concealer. So I am gonna put a tiny bit just kind of around my nose area and also along my upper lip just to avoid getting too shiny there. If you are using under eye concealer unlike me or if you are wearing a mascara unlike me then I would definitely recommend powdering around your eye area as well, the under eye and the lid, just to avoid mascara transferring and also to avoid uh, concealer creasing and smudging around there as well. Someone start mowing that lawn, great, brilliant. Don't you just love summer? I'm gonna bronze just a tiny bit more just because I feel like that will give my face a little bit more dimension and I feel like uh, out of bronzer and blush, bronze is the more kind of like natural way to do that. I'm using the Solar Powder by Soap and Glory, which I have talked about quite a bit. I talked about it in my favorite Soap and Glory products video and I'm just taking this on like a fluffy angled brush. I'm mixing the two colors together and kind of just dusting it along my hairline. I'm not taking a whole lot of product, just enough to give my face some shape and I'm gonna use this as a bronzer not as a contour at all so I am really putting this in the areas where the sun would naturally hit my face. I'm gonna take a little bit kind of apply it as a blush along my cheeks not under my cheekbones but kind of along them underneath that highlight and uh, making sure I really blend this out so it looks soft and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of powdery makeup on my face and I'm also just going to dust a tiny bit of this along my jawline. And I'm going to take just some of the light powder and I'm going to dust this down the centre of my face where my freckles are to kind of enhance that sun-kissed look paying extra attention to the centre of my nose. So there you go, I look a lot more sun-kissed and summery. Now the last thing I am going to do is fill in my eyebrows and I am going to fill them in quite naturally and lightly just so that they uh, look like they're full and thick but they don't look like they're drawn on and for that I would recommend using a thin thin eyebrow pencil so I'm going to use the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade brunette. I've zoomed you in on my eyebrows and I'm really not trying to make them look like they are um, you know, perfect or getting that like super Instagram-y brow look. I am mostly just trying to fill in the sparseness. It might be more difficult if you have thinner or more naturally sparse or lighter brows, but it's a little bit easier for me because I have kind of decent eyebrows, I guess. I'm also trying to make them look really like fluffy because that's my favorite summer brow trend at the moment. So I'm gonna start with the arch of the eyebrow. Just filling in with extremely light strokes. I'm barely touching the pencil to my skin. And then I'm filling in the tail. And then combing it through so I can see if I've gotten all of the sparse areas and to diffuse the product. And then towards the front, I'm just gonna fill in with extremely light strokes, I'm just going to fill in kind of the middle section of the brow and also a tiny bit along the top. And then towards the very, very front, I'm going to flick the strokes upwards just a couple times and extremely lightly. And then I'm going to do that a few times throughout the brow just to give hair like strokes. And then once again, comb through. And I am going to set them with um, a clear brow gel when I'm done. But you don't have to if you don't want to. It just helps 
them keep their shape. So as you can see, this eyebrow doesn't look even too much different from this eyebrow, it just looks like a fuller version of this eyebrow and you can see some of the skin um, and some of the patchiness, or not patchiness, but kind of sparseness in the eyebrow still, which is what we want because we don't want it to look fill them. So I'm going to do this eyebrow off camera and then I will come back to set them and finish up the look. So now that you can see my eyebrows just look naturally full, they're not too overly filled in, I barely touch the front of them at all, I'm going to set them with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clay Brow Gel. And like I said, this is the only product in this video that isn't drugstore just because I don't uh, have an affordable clay brow gel, but uh, or brow gel at all, actually this is the only brow gel I own. But uh, use whatever you have, don't have to buy this one. This one is extremely good and I would say pretty much waterproof. I'm gonna brush my brow hairs up mostly to give them the most like fluffy, natural appearance and also because it does kind of expose some skin and um, make them look a little bit less filled in and more kind of naturally full. If you have extremely sparse brows then you could even use kind of like um, a fiber brow gel like the Essence Make Me Brow or um, another kind of brow gel that adds thickness as well. So that's my eyebrows done. If you were going to apply mascara then I would say you know apply waterproof mascara whatever mascara you want to use and then your look will be complete. The absolute last thing I am going to do in order to make sure that this uh, makeup is waterproof and long lasting in the summer heat is I'm going to set it with the Collection Primed and Ready Makeup set Fixing Spray, not setting, fixing spray. This says it has a natural matte finish and prolongs makeup wear and I have been trying it out and I think that it's basically the same thing as Urban Decay All Nighter. So uh, extremely cheap dupe possibly. Another thing that this is going to do is help to reduce the powderiness of any powder products you did use on your face. So if you powdered your entire face with a setting powder, the powder bronzer, if you did use a powder blush, then um, this will help make it look less powdery and more melted into your skin, which is always a good thing when you're going for a super, super natural look. So the last thing that I would recommend doing is carrying around a powder with you and some oil blotting sheets just to make sure that you don't get too too shiny in the sunshine but otherwise we're all done. So this is the finished look, like I said it is super super natural, you know, true no makeup makeup. If someone were to look at me they probably couldn't tell that I was wearing any makeup at all and this is perfect for summer weather. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you have any tips for no makeup makeup then please leave them down in the comments below because I would love to hear them. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, all of those things and they will all be linked down in the description along with everything that I'm wearing and all the products that I used on my face. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!